Sometimes it seems like I just started blogging yesterday, but in actuality, I've been blogging for quite a while now. And when I first started my blog as a hobby, I never could have imagined that it would replace my full-time income as a wedding photographer. Had I known that I could make a real income with blogging and that I'd be able to replace my full-time income, there are definitely some things that I wish I would have known before I started my blog. I'm Janae Jackson from HelloBombshell.com and BombshellEntrepreneur.com. On this channel, you're gonna find all things building, branding, and marketing a profitable business from scratch. If you wanna learn how to make money online and build a profitable business, subscribe so you'll see my face every time I post a new video. Let's get into it. So before I started my blog, I worked as a professional wedding photographer. I was based in Miami and I would shoot weddings from West Palm Beach all the way down to the Florida Keys. I was making a really good six figure income with my wedding photography business. When I started my blog, it was really just for fun. It was really just a hobby. I never imagined or never even thought that blogging was a way to make money. As I started researching different ways to make my blog better and to get more people to read my blog, I really started to discover that blogging was really big business and that you could make a lot of money blogging, I decided, hmm, why not go after this full force and really try to make an income from it? And so that's what I did. So one of the things that I wish that I had known before I started my blog was that blogging was actually a reputable way of making money. Had I known that, I think I would have started my blog a little bit more strategically. My mindset would have been a little bit different and I think it would have helped me to grow a lot faster, a lot sooner. So if you're at the onset of your blogging journey, are you doing it just for fun, as a hobby, as a way of sharing your ideas and expressing yourself? Or are you doing this with the hopes of making an income? If you're starting a blog with hopes of making money, it's important that you choose the topic of your blog wisely. My number one advice would be if you're starting a blog to make money, is to make the blog topics about your readers as opposed to yourself. Of course, if you're starting a lifestyle blog, a lot of the content is gonna be focused around you, right? Because it's your life and you're creating the content. But you wanna make sure that it's valuable for your readers. The second thing that I wish I had known before I started my blog is that you can monetize from day one. After discovering that I could really make a lot of money online with my blog, then came another set of limiting beliefs. It's gonna take me years. I'm gonna need millions of followers. I need hundreds of thousands of subscribers. I need lots of views. I need all of this stuff that I don't have because nobody knows who I am. Stop. You don't need to be Instagram famous. You don't need to have hundreds of thousands of followers. You don't need to have millions of subscribers in order to monetize and make money from day one. There are different ways of monetizing your blog, even if you have no followers, no subscribers, and nobody knows who you are. Affiliate marketing, for example, is one excellent idea that you can start implementing and making money from day one, even if nobody knows who you are. You just have to take it one step at a time and have a strategic game plan and blueprint to follow towards the yellow brick road of success. The third thing that I wish that I knew before I started my blog is that you need to be passionate. You need to be passionate about the topic that you write about and you also need to be passionate about blogging and writing and creating content in general because you will be doing it all day every single day. If you figure you're gonna start a blog about cats or you're gonna start a blog about cooking, but you hate cats or you hate cooking, don't do it because you think you're gonna make a lot of money. In order for you to make a lot of money, you're gonna need to create good content. And the only way that you can create good content and lots of it is being passionate about whatever that topic is. The fourth thing that I wish I knew before starting a blog is that it's a 24 seven job. You will be spending a whole lot of time writing content, editing content, coming up with ideas, sharing, promoting, growing your blog when you're in the trenches. And that's all right, because guess what? The payoff is going to be amazing. The fifth thing I wish I knew before starting a blog, progress, not perfection. 
This perhaps was the most difficult for me to learn and to embrace. I must have waited about six months perfecting and designing my website before I finally wanted to promote it and publish things. I thought, you know, this is my brand, this is my baby. I want everything to be just perfect before putting it out to the world. If you have a problem putting things out before they're ready, before they're absolutely perfect, stop. It will never be perfect. That blog post will never be perfect. Your website will never be perfect. This video, it will never be perfect. But guess what? I'm just gonna keep it moving because I just wanna get my point across. I just wanna get this information out there. And the people that are watching, I don't think you guys really care about perfection. You care more about the content of what I'm saying. And that sentiment is the most important thing that I have learned, progress, not perfection. The sixth thing that I wish that I had known before starting my blog is that Rome wasn't built in a day. When you're first starting out, it's very easy to look at successful bloggers with lots of followers, lots of subscribers, and compare yourselves to them. Oh, they have an ebook, they have a course, they have a, mugs that they're selling. A lot of these people spent years, years, years building up their business before they ever saw any kind of success. I spent a lot of time before I ever saw any viewers, any revenue, any kind of success from my blogging journey. All of the things that you want to create and put out into the world, all of the money that you wanna make, all of the followers that you wanna impact will come with time. Just do the work, be patient, and success will come over time. The seventh thing I wish that I knew before starting my blog is that you will need help. When you're an entrepreneur, you have to be the salesperson, the accountant, but you have to be everything. I have learned to embrace that I cannot do everything myself and that's okay. I don't need to be a web developer. I don't need to be a web designer. I don't need to be a coder. I don't need to be a content writer. I don't need to be a photographer. Sometimes you have to just release and surrender and allow other people to help you. I love to use Upwork in order to find inexpensive people to help me to grow my business. People that are very good at what they do so that I can focus on the things that I wanna do and that I'm the best at, like writing and creating content. The next thing I wish I had known before starting my blog is that growing an email list is super important. When I first started my blog, so many people were coming to the blog, but guess what? People come to your website and nine times out of 10, they'll never come back because people forget. There are other websites, there are so many things on the internet for people to do, and they just kind of forget about you. The benefit of collecting people's email address is that you can always send a reminder to them when you post a new content, when you post a new video, when you post a new blog post, to bring them back into your tribe. The best way to collect email addresses is by creating a lead magnet. A lead magnet is basically something valuable that you create for people that come to your blog in exchange for their email address. So you'll see if you go to hellobombshell.com, on some of the pages I offer a free ebook or a free PDF, a free email course, in exchange for your email address. It's a win-win situation. I get their email address and the reader gets something of value, which also is going to give them more of an incentive to come back to your website another time. All right, so here we are at the final thing that I wish I knew before starting my blogging journey, and it is that you're always going to be learning. If you're not learning, you're not growing. There's so many things to learn and to understand and to master if you want to be a successful blogger. And the only way that you're gonna master those things is by continuously learning and feeding your brain with more information. There's an important caveat though. You're learning, but as you're learning, you're also doing and executing. Don't get stuck in the learning phase where you're continuously watching videos, reading books, doing all of this stuff, but you're not implementing what you're learning. So always be learning, but also be implementing and executing at the same time. There you have it, bombshells. Nine things that I wish that I knew before I started my blog. I know if you're on this journey of building a blog and trying to make money online with a blog, it can be very overwhelming. How to get traffic, how to write content, how to market, how to make money, how to sell, all of these things that you have to learn. I get it and you're not alone. It's a part of the journey but trust me, it's worth it. When you really start making money passively, it's worth it, it's worth it, it's worth it. 
stick with it. I'm here with you on the journey. I'm here to help you along the way. What things along the journey do you want to know? Tell me down in the comments. I want to know how I can help you and how I can best serve you.